Hello everyone, hope everyone's doing well. So we're going to be picking up where we left off. Need to talk with our crew. Yes, Commander? Carry on, Presley. Yes, ma'am. Uh, hey, Commander, next time we touch down, let's try not to park the ship in a colony of mutant zombies. Just thinking out loud here. How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they She's said? She's the she best could? ship balance. The Normandy's okay. probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. I have to go. All right, see ya. Thank you for your alert, Cynthia. Yo, B, how's it going? Yo soy rapido. Guys, yeah, it's been a while since I've spoke Spanish to anybody. gonna gonna right might be getting a new place have to wait and see. yeah I was uh, kind of lurking during Cynthia's stream about that I really hope you do get a good place you know Might be in Queens, okay. Is that close to where you were living before or no? Two notifications on Discord. Oh. Yes, it's close. Okay. <clears throat> Absolutely. Of course. Have a seat. 
We've played it pretty close to the book so far, but we're a long way from backup. We've got some tough calls to make. I'm just saying, try to leave yourself a way out. I've seen what cutting corners can do, and I'd hate to have that happen to you, Shepard. Commander. Shepard, how informal. That's not the appropriate way to address your commanding officer, Lieutenant. Sorry, ma'am. Maybe I got a bad signal. And if you're a... Maybe there's someone else you'd rather confide in. Ma'am. Like who? All right, Alenko. Off the record, permission to speak candidly, cross my heart and hope to die. What are you talking about? Uh, Dr. Tassoni, ma'am. There's a lower deck rumor that she's uh, interested in you. It's more than a source of protein data. She's a very interesting lady. To my uh, tastes, but uh, I never claimed to be an alien culture. It's not like that. Our relationship with Dr. Tassoni is professional. All right, only a rumor. But you don't have to spend your off-duty time with me. Not if you don't want to. I'm here, aren't I? Look, you didn't want to talk about Liara, did you? What's your real issue? You're right, sorry. It wasn't, uh... Liara's not my main concern. I'm not questioning any decision you've made, Shepard. Let me be clear about that. It's just my experience that once someone lets something slide, it tends to pick up speed. You get my meaning? Bad experience? Talk to me, Caden. You got a little black rain cloud sitting over your head. <coughs> I'll try to keep the deck dry. You know the records about the biotic training out on Jump Zero? They're all classified. Because the Alliance made mistakes. After first contact, Kinetics was set up to track Element Zero exposures and develop implants for humans. Once we had an embassy on the Citadel, Kinetics could bring in experts instead of taking it slow. I'm sure they meant well. I'm sure Kinetics did what they thought was best. It wasn't best for us. They brought in an ex-military Turian named Commander Vernus. To introduce himself, he liked to say, I was at the helm of the dreadnought that killed your father. Well, I told him my dad wasn't in the war. He'd retired to Vancouver. My family had an inland home that matured to New Beachfront. Bernus had it in for me after that. He cut corners, pushed hard. I mean, you either came out a Superman or a wreck. A lot of kids snapped. A few died. The point of all this, I guess, is that when you cut corners, it's not always obvious who pays for it. Why tell me? So why are you telling me this? Is there something I can do to help you get over it? I'm 32, Shepard. You don't serve as long as I have without coming to terms with yourself. You also learn that if someone is special to you, you help them. Try to keep them from making mistakes. Special? Special, huh? If I'm out of line, just say the word. You're not. You're not out of line, Caden. But there are regs. I get you, Shepard. I don't make a habit of complicating the chain of command. Just think about what I said. Looking for personal input. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. Tactical appraisal? What's your opinion on the last mission? I'm glad there aren't many aliens like the Thorian. I don't think my stomach could take it. One of my cousins has an agribusiness. I was thinking of calling him. Maybe he can get some shipments into Pharos. I mean, now that they're cut off from the company. We'll talk later, Caden. I'd like that. Okay. Let's go upstairs and plot our next course of action. Good timing, Commander. We got a transmission coming in from the Citadel. Top priority clearance. From who? Is it the Ambassador? It's not his signature. I think it's from the Council. I'll patch it through to the comm room. Uh, where was I supposed to go? <laughs> Good.
Good timing, Commander. We got a transmission coming in from the Citadel. Top priority clearance. Is it the Ambassador? It's not his signature. I think it's from the Council. I'll patch it through to the Comrum. Oh, Comrum. General Quarters. Security Thank you, Miss Phoenix Styles. Thank you. Thank you for your raid. 186 viewers. Well, welcome in, Raiders. My name is Gothic Cowboy. We're doing a Mass Effect trilogy. Hey, need a cleanup on aisle four. Thank you so much for your bits, there, Shuba. Hello, Farmer Brown. Shuba just cheered 100 bits, raid. <laughs> Oh, uh, Ms. Unique, if you're still here, happy birthday tomorrow. Enjoy your birthday. Okay, I gotta turn all that stuff down. Oh, thank you, Farmer Brown, for your bits. Thank you, thank you, Ms. Unique. How's it going? It's going okay. Oh, um, Nordman, the Nerdman. Hey, thank you, you for your um, for your follow, and thank you for the update, Cynthia. <laughs> And cue the ominous music. Yes, uh, Scrap, I definitely cue the ominous music here. Wow. Uh, I wasn't actually expecting another raid from you, Miss Unique, so thank you so much. Psst, keep it as a secret. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Up your shaft. Shuba, I'm already Drink prepared. Something. What is the Shikaka redeem? You know what? Hello there. Hello, nerd man. And I'll play it for you since you do not have the bits. Shish kebab. Well, Farmer Brown just did it. Shawshank Redemption. Chicago! You're out of there! Go on. You're gone. Cowboy, on. have a great stream. I'm going to wash my latex. Yes, indeed. Have a good night. Make sure they're well cleaned and well shined, Ms. Unique. And good night, everyone. From Ms. Unique. Good night to you. Okay. Uh, com room. <laughs> Commander Shepard, we've received information that may be critical to your mission against Saren. Good. I'll take all the help I can get. We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. Infiltration units? You mean spies. Drinking meat and watching this. Well, come on in here, Scrapyard, if you can. They are only one arm of the council. Been a craptastic day. I understand that. Monitoring developing situations. We currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on. What's up, man? Oh, not too much. Dealing with people who should be thinking instead of calling us up. But you know, it's our job. How's your day? Phone there? Yeah, can't can't you hear me? Yeah, uh, can you hear me better now? Yeah, I could hear you just fine. I had it turned off. Well, the soundboard turned off. Oh. Yeah, it, it's been going today. Uh, could have been better. Ran out of shoes, so I'm kind of in the middle of quitting and buying another can tomorrow. Quit, Kyle. Do what? You should quit. I really need to. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I tell you what. What's that? Thirty percent alcohol every seven hundred fifty milliliters. Hmm. So you're getting hammered for me. Mm. Yes. Cause I'm on the wagon again for a while. It's our Friday too. Yep, you guys don't have school tomorrow. 
So thank you everyone for your bits. Unfortunately, we didn't reach level one on the hype train, but that's okay. Close. I mean, you're getting there. 37%. That's not close. Hey, close enough from where I'm sitting. Yeah. That's pretty good, though. Yeah. And I wasn't expecting to be raided by one of my favorite LaTeX streamers, but here we are. Been a long time, and she um, did her uh, usual. Oh, hang on a second. She did her resubscribe. Uh, dude, headphones or take it to your room. Because a lot of people happened. Uh, when I logged in, like oh, everything so happened for all five at once. Months straight. Yeah, I know. That's what happens when I get raided by her. I was like, "Holy crap!" Yeah, I really had to turn some of my things down because holy crap, they're loud in my ear. That was a lot of fudgery going on at one time. Yeah, I wasn't prepared for that. Neither was I, and Cynthia was like. Ooh, Gothic, Daniel, something's coming, something good. I'm like, I already know what it is, but what am I supposed to be doing here in this game right now? <laughs> she broke my concentration. Do what, Corbin? It sounds serious. What did they find? Unfortunately, the message yes, we've been working on this all day. Static. The infiltration team must be in a situation he has where they been set up proper rude all day. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. Considering your interest in Sabbath, Ariel was trying to ask me a question today about Corbin. Find out what happened to our team. It, you know, basically what was going on with him. Thanks for the and info. And he wanted to over talk her. The council prefers not to become she's involved like, in the specific me. Spectre activities. We only He's like, want you what? to be aware of all your options, including Vermeer. Good luck, Commander Shepard. We will keep you advised if we learn anything else. Corbin's been really rude today. Hmm. Time to uh, spank his little behind. I came close a couple times. So, Raiders from Ms. Unique, if you wish to stay, make sure you refresh the stream. It'll help me out. Thank you for making mashed potatoes. It looks like that's what we're having for dinner tonight. We'll see if those ribs are done. Commander, urgent message from Alliance Command coming in. Oh, really? I'll Come on. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett from Alliance Command. We've got a situation here, and you're the only one that can handle it. How can I help? What do you need, Admiral? There's Pull them an out. Alliance training ground Take where we out. test weapons really and technology yeah, and live so fire simulations. Good. Really One of the VIs we use to simulate enemy tactics in the drills is no longer responding to our override oh, those commands. Are done. Woo! Doggy! Was anyone hurt? How many casualties so far? We got barbecue sauce. Seventeen Marines Force were killed the in the sauce over top of the set for a little bit. Before we Marines. realized what had happened. That's when we contacted We already them. made taters. VI support is critical to our military success. They process thousands of status reports and react mm. in nanoseconds. I think the next time I'm going to go no a little easier on that. the sugar and the honey when but I make my meat. As this thing is, no, you shouldn't. Military strategy is still mm. just a VI. It's not self-aware. Well, if it was any thicker, I could glaze a donut works. with it. Let's mm. put it that way. It is you need really freaking good. Your way through the training ground of the VI core and manually disable it. Six cup of sugar and I'm on it. Don't worry, Admiral. I'll Sixty-four take ounces out. of un I know raw, raw unfiltered council, honey. But you're still human. You're still part of the Alliance military, and right now we need you. The VI controls oh, all the facilities, man. weapons, drones, and automated defenses. You're the and only my sugar's one only at one fourteen, so I'm good. Good luck. Tell a diabetic they can't drink alcohol. We will find a way. I 
found something interesting yesterday, I think I was reading on a science journal of medicine. Yeah. They found the gene to turn on and off for cancer. Really? They can stop cancer, yeah, by gene editing. And I bet that report was nicely silenced. Do you know how much money that would cost pharmaceutical companies and the government if they was to go ahead and use that <clears throat> cure-all for all cancers? Yeah. That's a multi-billion dollar a year mm -hmm. money-making scheme. Approach control. This is the SSV normal. Requesting a vector in the bird. I think... Yeah, a doctor one, my doctor once told me that a patient cured is a patient lost. Or a patient cured is a customer lost, I should say. That's how he put it. Why do they call it practicing medicine? If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. You got a long way to go, son. I think I'll take my next leave here. Basically, that means if you cure a patient, you lose a customer. Yep. That's what Cynthia and I were talking about. <laughs> Excuse me. That's kind of why I like uh, certain medicines overseas, because they will cure you. Mm-hmm. Which, over here, they would rather treat you. Gotta go with the Krogan Tactical Missile, man. With I should have. Atmosphere. Dude, you got Tali in your group? Yeah. Mm. I like it when she gets hammered. Uh, that's not in this one, though. Yeah, I know. She's hilarious when she's hammered. Oh, yes. You on the first one or the second one? First one. Video game NPC. Tali Zora is an NPC. Is that your wife bitching? This. Wow, hon. Forgot how she put it. Something alcoholic, something port. Thermal Control. induction port. Yeah, thermal induction port. Uh, is there a way I can change them out? No. Sphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Playing Ghost Recon Breakpoint most of the day. Mm -hmm. Off and on. That's far enough. We'll cooperate. We're not here to cause problems. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. I'm with the council. I'm a specter. My name is Shepard. Load of horse crap, ma'am. We will need to confirm that. Also, I must advise you that firearms are not permitted on Novaria. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. We can let them do this, Commander. I'm keeping my gun. Nobody takes my weapon. Charge and lock! We are authorized to use lethal force. You have to the count of three to surrender your weapons. One, two, three. Captain Matsuo, stand down! We confirmed their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Parasini-san will meet you upstairs. Behave yourself. Fuck you, bitch. And let me say this.
I assume, Kyle, you're gone? Yes. Weapons detectors, don't mind the alarms. I am Gianna Parasini, assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. Thanks for getting us through. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. You understand our security chief was only doing her job. One of my duties is orientation of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? Why so many guards? Pretty heavy security for such a small port. The executive board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. I may have to step on toes. I can't have my investigation hampered. Tread lightly. The board can bury you in litigation. You'd need an Asari lawyer to see the case through. I heard get. I heard there were Geth here. Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? An Asari matriarch passed through a few days ago. Lady Benezia. Saren's right hand? She's here? I need to talk to her. Can I speak with her? Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. I need directions. Could you tell me how to get there? You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Where's Analeas? Where can I find the Administrator? His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. Understood. Can we go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the Administrator's office. Commander, maybe we should tell Liara that her mother's here, or bring her along. Maybe she can reason with Benezia. Bringer. And I'll go go grab the Krogan tactical missile. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination. Logged. The commanding officer is... Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Okay. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Welcome to Port Hanshan, the galaxy's most respected site for independent scientific research and development. For your own safety and to protect the privacy of others, you are required to obey any directions given by our security personnel. If you have questions or concerns, our friendly administrative staff is always available. Thank you and enjoy your stay.
How can I help you? Where's Analeas? I'd like to speak to Analeas. One moment, please. Mr. Analeas? Yes, what, what? Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in. You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain space-born vagabonds. I'm a specter. I'm here as a specter, not a human. Keep that in mind. Believe me, that is foremost in my mind. This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. I'm on a mission. I'm conducting an investigation. It's a matter of galactic security. Yes, isn't everything. I will not allow you to harass our clients. This world is private property. Do you do business with Saren? Agent Saren? One of your Spectre compatriots? He is a major investor in Binary Helix Corporation, which is one of Novaria's backers. Is he developing weapons here? Is Binary Helix developing weapons for him? It's possible, given his interests. What our clients do in their labs is their business. I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. Benezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at peak 15. Uh, what sort of cargo? What can you tell me about her cargo? Large, heavy, and sealed. It passed weapon screening. Beyond that, it is not our concern. Define personal escort. What do you mean, personal escort? The phrase is self-explanatory. Bodyguards attending to the safety of her person. Mainly Asari commandos. You let Asari who can kill you with their brains run around, but give us flack about guns? They followed all our regulations. I had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia from taking them. I need to see her. I'd like to see her. Immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. Regardless, there is a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and surface access has been cut off. Why is she here? What brought her out here? If I knew, I wouldn't be at liberty to say. She came here as Agent Saren's executor. She is here on business for Binary Helix. There were issues at Peak 15 that required Saren's attention. Goodbye. I have no more questions at this time. Good. I received a dozen urgent messages while you dithered about. Mr. Analeas isn't the only one with a pass to leave Hanchan. You've never worked in the corporate world, have you, Commander? You can't bludgeon through bureaucracy. I can see that. So it would seem. I need an alternative. Talk to Lorik Keen. You should be able to find him at the hotel bar. Can't say more. Not within earshot of Mr. Analeas. Talk Thank to you. you later. Very well. So we need to go up to the bar. The male human at the hotel bar? He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. Have we met? Do you know who I am? Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. That makes you ideal for my job. You are a known quantity. Or so Vargas will think. 
He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your... my... real intentions. Why me? What is this about? I don't know anything about Binary Helix. What would I talk to Vargas about? I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. Our town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What is your city's interest in Binary Helix? They do not manufacture amps. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. This is illegal. You think this uniform's just for show? My job is to enforce the law, not break it. Do you think that Binary Helix obeys all the laws? That they do not spy on other companies? That's no excuse. What they might be doing somewhere else doesn't justify my acting against them here. Very well, Spectre. I'll be on my way. Afternoon. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? Laura Keen? Are you Laura Keen? I heard you might be able to help me. You are the Spectre that just arrived, are you not? What can old Turian like me possibly help you with? I need to get to Peak 15. I'm trying to find a way into the garage. I have places to go. You need a pass. How fortuitous. I'm the manager of the local Synthetic Insights office. For the moment, at least. Mr. Analeus closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. An intriguing coincidence. I sense a connection there. Indeed. I acquired evidence of Analeus's actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeus would be disinclined to let you wander. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. I'm interested. You have a plan? I do. However, there is one other... What is that charming human expression? Fly in the lotion? Violence against Mr. Wait, Analeus's no. thugs may be necessary. He has members of Han Shan's security team searching my offices. He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. I'll figure something out. I'll focus on trying to get your evidence. If I'm lucky, I won't have to fight anyone. Excellent. Here is my pass <coughs> to our offices. It will activate the elevator. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Oh, and do try to keep blood stains off the carpets, would you? Thank you.
Freeze! Henshan security. This office is sealed. Quinn let me in. Lorik Keen gave me a pass Keen. in. Keen? Are you working for him? He's under investigation. You're here illegally. Analeas is paying you to shake this place down. Does Captain Matsuo know you're here? Hey, I'm not the one who wants Keen. Analeas has a Varen up his ass about this guy. How about this? You pretend you didn't see us, we'll pretend we didn't see you. Good. Look out! Oh, really?
There it is. I always get caught up there. Alright, I'll be right back, everyone.
Okay, I'm back, everyone. Sorry about that. Careful! Behind you! Oh, Cynthia, you scared the living shit out of me. That was my plan. Hello. <laughs> I, I, I John's been doing that all fucking week. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I was Christ. just waiting. I, I saw that that you were away. Oh, oh, I have to wait. I have to wait. I, I think I have to wait for the moment, and then you start to pray. <laughs> Are you? Oh, I'm glad By you did. Way, I was just, I I'm, was coming in to say that it was so sweet from uh, Miss Unixta to raiding you. Yeah, I know. It's been a long time since she's raided me. It's like, you know, I gave up hope. <laughs> the but thing yeah. is, she's, uh, she's not streaming that much at, no. in the last one month. So yeah. <laughs> I, I'm always hoping that she's raiding somebody. Yeah. Somebody who I don't know, somebody who I know. I like everything because this this time it was so so nice, so sweet to see that the, the people are connecting. And I I have to watch back the stream and see what I always do that to see who she rated and then any responses. So obviously, uh, it was pretty good. And I also wanted to let you know, as far as this morning went, I didn't see last night's video for you. Yeah, I don't know if uh, you had changed that or what on what? on your stream for your stream last night. What I was changing? No, I, no, I no, 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 no. I didn't see that the uh, auto uploaded your stream from last night. Oh, I figured it out. Yes, 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 yes. Ah, um, okay. you, you are correct. Uh, that's a really uh, precise observation because I was checking today. <laughs> Uh, B was telling me that he can see uh, auto mod messages logs, mm. and I uh, and I was really baffled by that because I don't have <coughs> B in my moderator list at all, yeah. and I don't know if there is any other uh, type of settings for for the for the stream, which will make simple users to see uh, the moderation uh, logs, and I figured that he has seven I TV installed in here, and seven ah. TV logging every message and it will be shown when somebody is uh, timed out or banned and the message uh, will not disappear from uh, his chat I'm so that was the, the solution because I have uh, seven TV and a better I'm TV on my 24 7 laptop and I can see I Every single you message and and unsolicited pictures and of whatever it is in the chat, you know what we because uh, these what is it additions or uh, e extensions will <laughs> will uh, log it for me. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it on the laptop, but I don't have it on my main rig because I don't want it on my main rig. Yeah, I, and, I don't um, like the uh, added. Um, yeah. e emotes and things like that I'm not interested in that anyway and during this time I found out why my uh, words are not auto published and I will share it with you so you are you will be in the know please do yeah when when you uh, switch on copyrighted audio warnings and uh, Twitch will uh, warn you about copyrighted audio because this option is on whenever it will detect copyrighted audio, it will switch off automatically ah, the, uh, the okay. automatic publish. And that's that makes the reason. Sense. That makes sense. Almost every stream what I have has copyrighted audio in it. Mm -hmm. And uh, this option was on for me. That's why I was always able to receive the emails, uh, check the information panels on Twitch, uh, what, what type and uh, which audio was uh, copyrighted, why I am muted like always. I switch it off because it makes no sense for me. Mm -hmm. On every single stream I will have copyrighted audio for my uh, entertainment only. 
and uh, well, not just yours. You know, some of the music I like. I went and searched for BB Rexa. Um, I'm whatever, whatever that song was. I can't remember off the top of my head. And I put it on my stream, my uh, Steam, my, my um, Spotify playlist. Okay. Okay. Cool. So cool. you're. I I like your music, Cynthia. Don't don't think you're the but one the who thing does. Is you, you can hear the music and and ask what type of music was that only uh, on live stream, because after the live stream I don't uh, record these uh, streams, mm -hmm. so there is no uh, audio available to share to anyone. I will do this thing only when I will have uh, the capability to. Su uh, to separate out the music from my from my words, yeah. I can't do it right now uh, in my current settings with the OBS. Mm -hmm. I have some kind of understanding now how does it working on Linux, but I don't want to fuck it up. I know, so I'm, I'm, I know, I'm so I'm wary about fucking things up too. <coughs> it's a bit dif it's a bit difficult. Yeah. I, I could. I think I would be able to do it, but I don't want to do it everything from the terminal. If I can do a solution like installing flat packs instead of official repositories, that would be a solution for me. On the other hand, I just have I have to figure out what would be uh, those programs that I need mm -hmm. on on my computer because if it's gonna work, I could completely stop uh, broadcasting my desktop audio so you're not going to hear anything only those things that I want you to hear yeah like if I want you to hear uh, the YouTube uh, window that I'm watching you will hear it mm -hmm. and also you will hear the game uh, music or the game sounds noises whatever it is and you will hear the music from VLC or whatever source I have but it will be not registered on the wood and that's that would be my goal i just don't know how to accomplish it uh, on on my manjaro linux yet yeah but i will figure it out oh well, i i i have faith you will i am also thinking about and just maybe an advice for you or just food for thought please uh, share I, I i want to make some days which are themed and for example, for Tuesday, I can see that always, almost every Tuesday is dead. So I am streaming for a small number of people. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the time when I should practice my... Uh, what can I say? How can I say that? Um, critical mind and coming up with all my, my uh, Conteo stuff on Tuesdays. Like watching videos, collecting the stuff together, writing it down, things like that. I'm just thinking about this. I'm not decided, uh, but I might do that. Uh, Bandana Mandag will be coming back uh, most, most likely uh, from next week. Okay. So when I have my Bandana on, on Mondays, because I'm returning to another um, treatment schedule. And Wednesdays, you. Thursdays are are obvious. It's it's gaming, and mm -hmm. we are watching Miss Unique Styles in latex and things like that. And Saturday, I think it's obvious. Saturdays, Saturdays with you as well. Uh, Guild Wars Two. I like to play uh, Guild Wars Two. We are going into that game. Mm -hmm. One, two, three hours, whatever. Or I'm just talking. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. We or it's Halo with Anna. <laughs> On Halo with Tana, yes, that's also a possibility. But and then let me just say, we are on Saturdays yeah. is just hanging out with you. So I don't care what we do; we could talk till we're blue in the face. Doesn't matter. Saturdays is time with you, for me at least. Yeah, that, that's cool. That's cool. Unless there's something else going on, like next year, I'm going to be going out hunting. And of course, you know, in the springtime, I'm reenacting. So that, Thing of course, is, will be the time when we don't do it. Daniel, you all, you already know that nothing is uh, put Written into stone. Is, yes, yes. And it's like if you can't be there, it's fine. It's okay. 
it's not a mand- it's, this is not a mandatory activity, you know. Oh, I know, I know. It's just that I would let you know because that's who I am. I don't okay. want you thinking, you know, God, where is he? Is he okay? Mm. He didn't tell me mm. what's going on. I, I really, I really appreciate it from everyone uh, when when they just give me a message like, "Okay, I'm, I'm going there doing this." Doesn't matter what is it. It just give me a peace of mind that, yeah, you will be away because then I don't have to think about it. That oh, what the fuck happened? Have he she been in work and that's why he she is not uh, returning any message? It just it's just uh, a good way to if I know somebody's schedule more or less. Yeah. And, and that's really why I answer you on Discord immediately. And I feel bad when I don't because I'm normally I'm right there, and I'm thinking, you know, what, what is she thinking? Is something happened to me? Oh my god! That's it's why. The same anyway. That's why when I wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning and you text me, I respond immediately and then go back to sleep. Oh, I'm not doing it anymore. That uh, no. I always for when, when, I, when I write to you uh, uh, that early, I just forgot the time. Cynthia. And that's so bad. Cynthia, I don't I mind. Know, I know. I don't care. I don't care what you're saying. You, you told me that I can bother you anytime. I will not. I will not because you're supposed to sleep. <laughs> But actually, is really important. that time I had just woken up to see what time it was. So I'm thinking, like, should my alarm go off by now? And I literally just sat the phone down, and then Discord notification comes on. So I was I already was, awake. I, I, I don't know how you're doing it, because I, I am now in, in, the, in the process of when, after training, I go to sleep, and I sleep... Constantly, like <laughs> without interruption, like six, seven hours. Well, that comes from being, like I told you, I was suicidal. And a lot of people I remember were that. putting me on a suicide watch without putting me on a suicide watch. And so they go, hey, uh, since you have Discord, you know, and we don't have your number, we need to get a hold of you. I'm like, yeah, Discord's already on my mm-hmm. phone, you know. If you think something's going on, like I'm not active and I normally am, message me. I'll let you know what I'm doing. And that was from Kyle, you know. All right. He was there during most of it. Scrapyard. And he's like, we got to get a hold of you, dude. I'm like, you already have my number. You have me on Discord. Fucking message me. I don't care what time it is. By the way, how is Kyle? Uh, today he basically had a fucked up day, but that's just not the pain wise. No, not the pains. It's just, um, his son Corbin was acting up. He was, he talked for a little bit and then he had to leave. Okay. Okay. But as far as I know, everything is better, but he has I'm good days and bad days. I am still kicking. That's I the am point. too. I am too. <clears throat> but also thank you for making me think last night what uh, in in uh, what uh, with your questions subject once again with your questions I with, already forgot what I was uh, <laughs> questioning you were talking you to me about, about um, how when you look through a scope you're there was a little haze in it. Oh, the paradox. And ah, okay, um, the, the sniper stuff. If you were to come over here and war broke out and you wanted to fight, what would you be classified as? And I told you PMC. Private military contractor. So thank you for making me think. The thing is, it those questions coming up uh, in me, just like a little kid would ask, when, when and they I don't mind that. That's how we all learn. The, the marvels of the world. And I think <laughs> if somebody is not asking questions, or an idiot. Yeah. Because that's, you can't know everything. And that's one and of the reasons why I told you, 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 you know, message me anytime. Ask questions. Yeah. 
That's why I told you to message me anytime. It's like if your brother has a questions about reloading, I don't fucking care what time it is. Okay, message me. These things, these things are not <laughs> emergencies. And True. if if I I am bothering you at a really old time, that means there is an emergency. And I don't want to do that. Okay. If it is an emergency, I don't care what time it is, will you contact okay. me? That's fair. That's fair. Okay. That's okay. That's fair. That's completely fair. Because I would do the same thing to you. I, I want people uh, to get their sleep, get their training, get their food, get their work, get whatever <coughs> leisure and pleasure they need. Mm -hmm. Because if there is an emergency, I need people 100% uh, ready. Oh, yeah. You see my point? I, I see your point, And I don't want you to think, oh, I don't want to bother him. If it's an emergency, bother me. Because okay. I, I would be pissed off if there was an emergency you didn't tell me. Damn. And I would, and you would be the same way for me. Between, listen, somebody somebody has to come up with a really fast tra uh, travel system because this is so bad that uh, we know people around the world, basically yeah. around the world, and the distance is so big between us that it's really difficult to come over. Yeah, it's for me, I looked it up from, you know, Rochester International Airport to Oslo. It's $900 one way for a trip. Not just not just money-wise, but if you and think about it. It was like 20 hours with a couple hour layover. Jesus. You see, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah. Time. Time is your most valuable uh, asset. Trust me, if there was a transporter, I would use it in March. That would be awesome. I, I, I would... Oh, we are on Twitch. I'm not saying it. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> you muted yourself? I will mute, yes. Okay, muted stream. Oh, before, 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 just double check for me, okay? Just double check. Make sure no audio is coming through before you say anything. Still, still muted. I'm not. I'm not gaslighting you or anything. Mhm. Mm oh, yeah.
And one good thing about having... I'm unmuted now. But one good thing about having a transporter... Because I'm going to be... You know, biting my nails at the edge of my seat, waiting on any kind of word in March. Oh, March. Oh, shoot. Uh, how do you feel about that now? I still feel good news. You know, I still feel good. Uh, I'm not saying really, I'm not worried. About it. It, it is still far away. It's human nature to be worried. Yeah. But I still feel positive, but I still want to have that transporter so I can be right there in the waiting room they tell me that you know no, surgery was I, no I would not let I would not let you come in frankly I, I don't want to see anyone me in that state ever I know I would not let you I, I would not let Rita I would not let Miss Unix I would not let anyone to come in at least let me be in the waiting room where no, I can no, get no, the no. notification no. immediately because because I would be on my lowest and lowest point after the surgery at hun that hundred percent, I would be in great pain. I wouldn't even be able to think straight. I wouldn't be able to maybe, I don't know, talk or whatever. Oh, I don't you wouldn't be able to talk for a while. No, state. it's just I want to be there to get the instant news and okay, uh, you, uh, oh, then good, you transport can't, back. You can't help. I you, you can't help. I know there, I can't help. I know the I can't help. The only one thing that you, that you would help that you you say that I'm thinking about you get better, and I would because I'll be biting my nails, edging my seat, waiting on any kind of word. And yes, I would tell you if my senses turn differently, but they're not. Okay. You know what I'm thinking now? We are going into the winter season mm -hmm. and. Uh, it is still far away, March, and many things could change. And actually, I was thinking about this, and there was a thought in my head that I might not uh, have the same surgeon and the same location for my yeah, surgery. Yeah, like I told you, maybe it's, you know, the doctor that you were talking to. He, it can change. But, but this was... You said this to me once, that, oh, Cynthia, don't worry... It is so far away that many, many things could change. And you said it like one, one month or even... A couple months ago, yeah. I don't know. Five weeks, six weeks ago. And I was not even thinking about that. But this week, last week, this was coming up on my mind. Just randomly. And I was thinking, yeah, he, he quite right about that. That, mm -hmm. that the, the appointment... Is so far away still in time that so many things could change on, on a daily basis. Yeah. What I don't know yet, maybe the change is already done. I just don't know. Mm -hmm. Because <coughs> when I started at the stream, just like in two seconds when I was hitting start streaming, my phone uh, getting an SMS from Hess and Orge. This is the uh, the health station of Norway or something. This is the, the main board where you log in and you uh, talk to your doctors, okay. receiving information, etc. Mm -hmm. And I received a, a message, a message with something in connection with something else. But I thought it's about uh, the blood drone that I have to go to in level. Uh, I was like, oh, yes. And I was like, I have to check it right now. Stream is on. I can do it on stream in a second. I did it. Everything was fine. But then it, it's still not uh, the appointment for uh, drawing my blood and taking my blood. I hope they are not doing it in, in uh, January. Not that, not, not doing it so late. Uh, they probably do it earlier because January the first, the first and February. Be frozen. Well, you can still freeze it in January. True. And, true. And in February if, if it will be refrigerated. It, so that they use they in March. It, that means they could take it in December even today. Because Yeah, I forgot, you know preserved. I'm thinking, you know, December's already ended, but no, it's November's already ended. This month this year's been flying. Oh, this year you know how many things happened with me this year? A lot. I couldn't even count. Yeah. 
And let me also say, Cynthia, if you ever feel that you need to talk about anything, like the surgery or anything, get a hold of me, okay? Oh, I'm here, as you can see. Yeah. And it's like, if <laughs> I was jumping in, so that I, I had something to say. If you need something that has to be done in private and I'm streaming, I'll end the stream so that you and I can talk. No. No. There is, again, if there would be an emergency, mm -hmm. I might ask such a thing. But there is yeah. no emergency. Or and I hope there will be no... I'm not, I'm not expecting to emergency happen. I don't want to uh, attract any negativity with that. Mm -hmm. I, I want everything to go smoothly. So do I. I, I have to work for it. Yeah, uh, I have to take uh, effort and time. But that's fine. And everything will be okay. Mm -hmm. And you know, I actually had a dream about the surgery. And it's like, you know, like, kind of like on a, on a body experience, kind of like. And I could see you right there, of course, you know, but it's after surgery is done. And I see you open your eyes. And it's like, I'm waving like a fucking idiot. Of I course, can. you can't see me. And then I snap back to where I'm at. And um, I get a message from Rita. Hey, just let you know, Cynthia's awake. She's fine. Everything went good. Okay. And then all of a sudden, I open the door and you're standing outside. It's like, how the fuck did you get over here? Well, me picking you up at the airport. <laughs> I, I need a super fast car which, which can travel above sea. <laughs> that, would, that would be also a good solution for me. Yeah. If, it's fa if it's fast enough, like uh, almost uh, going uh, with the speed of sound. That would be fast enough for me. Yeah. In that case, I, that would be the way how I would travel between uh, European countries mm -hmm. on sea. <laughs> Immediately from Norway, from the fjords, going down to the Netherlands, going down to Germany. Uh, okay, still Hungary will be far away because that's in the center of uh, Europe. Mm -hmm. But I have two types of thinking about my surgery. Two Two ends uh, of the scale. The that positive I'm dead. and the negative. Like, I'm dead. Like, something went horribly wrong. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. They fucked up uh, the labeling of the blood. I got some pretty bad blood. I was blood clotting. The surgeon was poking hole on my lungs. I was bleeding out. Things like this. This is one end of the scale that I'm dead. And the other end of the scale that... The surgery is done, I can feel the last stitch putting inside me, I'm waking up, I remove all my uh, uh, infusions and things like that, and I move. <laughs> I move on my uh, two legs. And then this is the other, uh, uh, other end of the scale. Like, everything is going so fine that I'm waking up, let's go! <laughs> yes. And so that's what I want to have happen. Uh, most likely it will be between the two. Not between Some the two. It's going to be positive, Cynthia. Think positive. Uh, Do I have to come over there and slap you across the face? Make you think positive? Since I, I, uh, I was, again, for the second time, um, I, you weren't there, I think, on Tyler's stream, that there was, he was also uh, um, flipping out about my uh, view of uh, vaccines and uh, viruses. No, and I wasn't there. I, I, am, I am again back at the topic, and I'm going deeper and deeper in the topic. And, dude, I, I really don't want to receive any foreign blood. I For understand that. I understand that completely. 95% of the Norwegian population was... Uh, vaccinating themselves that means I have already by the way those people who are vaccinated themselves sorry uh, wrong analogy people who are donating blood they are conscious about helping people mm -hmm. and the story was to help others vaccinate yourself and 100% of the people who are giving blood in Norway those blood are vaccinated yeah. and that would fucking kill me 
this, is, this, this is the point where I am right now, that if I receive any foreign blood from anyone who was uh, once uh, vaccinated, I fucking die. Yeah, and that's what I was talking about earlier with you. Is like, I want to help you. But then I found out if you have vaccinated blood, it will kill you. And I'm like, I still want to help out somehow, but I can't donate blood. So I resigned myself to the fact of I'm going to be here for you for the shoulder. For I the think ear. the only person who will be able to donate me is my, my brother, I, I think. If he doesn't have okay. latent factor five, no. Uh, I don't know if he, he got it or not, but I know that he is unvaccinated. That's my point. Your blood would still attack his and cause you to die. I don't know. Uh, it, it depends. If we share the same blood type, that would be okay. Because if he doesn't have uh, the vaccination in, in his blood, that would be okay for me. Even if he has a factor, a factor lower than factor 5, that wouldn't be a problem. Because that will not trigger my, my proteins in my blood at yeah. all. Because I have the same. Actually, there was frankly, a slight I don't chance of that happening. Has. Okay, now, because I am always uh, uh, expect the unexpected and prepare myself for any scenario, mm -hmm. that's why I am, I am talking about in I extremes. Like, what if, what if, what if, and uh, this and this and this happens, what would be the next next step? Next step. It's helping me a little bit to calm down, to f uh, fuck the calm down, so I can think straight. Mm -hmm. And I just hope that people in the hospital could read and uh, could read the codes of the uh, the blood samples that uh, will be used. They could read the paper. They could understand that I can only receive my own blood. And I also, I, I don't know how, how are the people, because when I was uh, asking for this simple thing, to use my own blood, I was almost ridiculed, scrutinized, and looked down upon. Mm -hmm. Because I was uh, questioning the system that they have. Would, would I have the right to question it. You do. And... Uh, I can see the flaws in the system. But just because of this, I hope that nobody will be evil with me and on purpose fucking up something. That, that goes against the Hippocratic Oath, Cynthia. And that's the oath that the Hippocratic doctors take anymore. seriously. Dania, universities and doctors do not make any oath anymore. They don't? They don't. They, they still do uh, over here. This is this is a disturbing fact. But I I will look it up for you. But as long as I know, there are just uh, ethics of being a doctor, but they don't do any oath anymore. Huh? But they still do the Hippocratic oath over here. <laughs> Thank God, at least. I am I am right now. Google it. <laughs> Google, 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 Google it. Google it. <laughs> yeah. Hippocrates out. And uh, earlier see. you said, Psst, "Keep it a secret." Was that that I yeah, you told me? I was on you. I was on your stream, and I heard also Miss Unique says that she will read you. That's why I was like, just. Hang on your head. <laughs> yeah, and, <laughs> Prepare yourself. And I heard that. I'm like, wait a minute. Where was I supposed to fucking go? <laughs> yeah, at least I don't want to say that loud. Because <laughs> well, I didn't know who I was on my stream. I already knew it. As soon as you said it. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. I, I'm, I'm going to be raided. Who's on? Miss Unique. Cynthia's not ready to raid yet. Uh, Miss Unique. <laughs> yep. No, that was a really sweet from her. Yeah, I, I was I was pretty I uh, really happy. I, I was all uh, a smile on my own stream. I could oh, see hey, that. Yeah, I could see that. Boy. 
I can still remember the first time she raided me. You were right there seeing me smile. <laughs> oh, listen. Oh, my goodness. I'm listening. Oh, when? Oh, published 2021, October 10. Doug O. Hessen. Climate change is the biggest health challenge in the world today. It poses a steadily increasing direct and indirect threat to future generations. And this is bullshit, mm -hmm. first of all. Uh, climate change is happening, but the climate change was happening every 10,000 years, by natural the way. Natural cycle, yep. Uh, that's a natural cycle, yes. And it depends not on you or on me or the airplane that we are using or, or uh, any kind of uh, volcanic activity on planet Earth. No, it depends on a much, much bigger thing and it's called the sun. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, that's the biggest number uh, in climate change. There is, of course, there is always a, a temperature decrease and temperature increase but this is a freaking natural thing. We are just on a timeline of the planet. We are a speck of dust. If you look at the timeline, mm -hmm. humans and especially modern technology is not even a, a tiny bit of a sand, grain of sand on the timeline of our planet. Yeah. So what the hell can we know about uh, the natural? Uh, sequences of the planet we were not even around or we killed each other and uh, uh, the cultures were burning away and destroying each other knowledge just as today idiots yeah you know i'm no, in complete I'm, I'm agree with you there because we've been saying that all the time you know we're still coming out of the last ice age yeah, yeah, true. That's true. Yes. For example, no, uh, not everybody knows that uh, bamboo was uh, in Europe as well. The reason why the bamboo disappeared from Europe, it was the Ice Age. And I didn't and know only, bamboo was in the was in Europe. The, how how can we know this? Uh, because all most of the bamboo species, which is uh, coming back from China and uh, uh, the, let's say, not Middle East, the, but Far East, is completely compatible with, with the vegetation here. Mm -hmm. Completely, like surviving every single uh, uh, winter time. And they, they could go pretty high up. Here in Norway, we have uh, bamboo species, which, which are coming from from China mainland mm -hmm. uh, from a semi-tropical area and they are uh, withstand the winter time so this is also and then I would ask the question how could that happen I mean a plant from the tropical area most likely will die in, in a, a climate outside where it has minus 20 degrees Celsius and this is also a, a, an evidence that bamboo was present in the European soils, but there was a gigantic ice age, which was uh, frozen over almost everything, I don't know how many thousands of years ago, and as it was receding, the ice was receding, and the planet getting much more warmer and warmer, mm -hmm. because of human activity, bamboo are back. Yeah, that's that's news to me. I didn't know Europe Europe had bamboo. It's just really difficult to to prove it from from fossils mm -hmm. because might be from fossils would be okay, but bamboo is a grass, and all of its part could break down. It's it's not like bones. Or, or teeth, or uh, what is the other one? Uh, uh, or hair, 
for example, it, it will break down quite easily. I try to find information about uh, the Hippocratic Oath here in Norway. A Hippocratic Oath is needed for the unborn. I just don't find... I can't find the... A bit of an age climate. I will not gonna find it today because I'm already too tired to to uh, think straight. But Never mind. I have a good joke for you to make you mind at so you can sleep. But I have one request. Uh, okay, what is the request? Would you turn your camera on? Because I want to see your reaction. I will not oh, show it on stream. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, where am I? I am here. Okay. Uh, where is the camera option? Uh, go to your lower left-hand side, just above where your name is, where you can mute. And it's the first button on the left. Um, there you are. I, I see you. It's on. Yep, I see you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm I'm here. I'm listening. So first of all, I'm waving. You know, you can't see me, but I'm waving on oh, stream. My goodness. You know. Oh, wait a second. I know. Uh, I know what's wrong. Yeah, this okay. was wrong. There was no light. There was just <laughs> one light above me. That's that's the difference. Yeah. But the stream camera is so much more clearer. I don't know why. Discord should be the same. Oh, that's right. Because I have subscription where you don't. So my what? camera is clearer. I subscribe to um, NAS. Nitro? What? Yeah, Nitro. Okay. I don't have subscription because I don't need it. I just don't use it. So. Why would I? The joke. Joke. Okay. It's kind of stupid, ahead. but... It'll make you laugh. But I'm gonna wait till the coffee cup's out of your hand, because <laughs> I don't want you okay, choking. Okay, okay. Okay. I'm an American outside of the bathroom, but when am I on the inside of the bathroom? You are American outside of the bathroom. What you would be inside of the bathroom? Uh. American outside <coughs> of the bathroom so you are not you are not in the bathroom uh, you are outside inside <coughs> American Inuit no um, this is a dead dead <laughs> joke I know fuck America, American, Ameri, American, no, uh, I think this is a, a play on words. <laughs> it is. Uh, you are an American outside of the bathroom, and what would you be inside? Okay, like, by logic, you would be still an American, but I think the joke is something else. Uh... Do you give up? Okay, tell me. Tell Euro me the pun. European. You're a P in? You are P in? European? American European? What? Why out? I don't understand. Okay, what do you go in the bathroom to do? You pee. Okay. You're a pee. Yeah. You're pee. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's why I wanted to see your face. <laughs> no, I. I just. I. I don't. I don't have the. the the mental capabilities for that jokes, frankly. <laughs> no, you, it's just, it's not something you expect for the punchline. Not at all. 
I, I, I would not even think about this. <coughs> my, my first thought when you said it's like American inside, American outside, doesn't matter, you are American. But I knew that the joke is something else about. Holy moly macaroni. So. All right, Daniel, uh, yeah. I see you're still streaming. I you lurking. Okay, because I have a little bit left okay. of time, and then I'm going to do my training. And I got to finish up this mission, a little, part of this mission that I'm on. Training. Oh, my goodness. <coughs> it's getting so easy for me. Uh, because of reasons. Mm -hmm. uh, my current hormonal state allow me to to have it easier and I'm, I'm using this time uh, as long as I can and I max out my my uh, progress I would mm -hmm. say but I don't changing any any weight I'm just changing the repetitions and uh, I realize that I'm doing my stuff and I'm not even <coughs> breaking the sweat halfway in that's what i'm doing that, right now with the, the um the intermediate stage it's like holy shit i used to be sweating now i'm not so it's time to increase point. the the time i think i am increasing now only the repetitions mm -hmm. and with that a little bit of the time and nothing else i don't want to overstress myself yeah definitely. i think right right now i am in in a stage of uh, equilibrium mm -hmm. and now i i just make it sure that i can keep it here and if i really want to go like to the uh, theoretical maximum the the uh, my own body weight to be able to elevate my own body weight i can go there when when i feel that this equilibrium is too easy and i think it will be my prediction that I will continue like this up until my surgery and after the surgery I have to scale it back like um, almost doing me, it without weight. Let me counter. At least okay. two weeks before the surgery, stop. Uh, why? To give your time, your body time to acclimate, get your blood pressure down and stuff like that for the surgery because you don't want to stop like a day before the surgery. Okay, that's that makes sense, but I would I would just keep uh, a resting phase before the surgery. Okay. I do don't want to little stop. stuff. Don't do the heavy training like you've been doing. No, no, I mean do little. that's what I said. What I'm doing right now, I would continue with the same thing up until the surgery. Yeah. And when the surgery is happening, I will give myself before the surgery a few days of a resting period where. Mm -hmm. I always have like two, three, maybe four days of resting period because that's normal for me. And I also start to fast at that time. I'm also uh, planning out, uh, start to fa fast, uh, prolong fast like three days from uh, the upcoming weeks. I'm really expecting that they will call me for the blood uh, drone, mm -hmm. draw my blood. And I want to do it in my fasted state when I have my ketones up, when I have the real fuel in my in my blood. And if they push it that inside me, that would be the best solution. And that would max max out my, my positive outcomes. Hang on, I'm about to play a song. I gotta turn them down. Thank you, Amat, for the Darth Vader march. Hello, Amat. How you doing? And uh, yeah. after the surgery, I know you know after this, the but uh, be careful. After the surgery, my doctor said I cannot do any kind of training for three months. Yeah. Anytime, sir. Yeah. Just be careful, okay? Please, for me. Be careful. Actually, they will, tell, they will uh, give me uh, instructions what to do, how to do, what not to do, mm -hmm. and why. And also, but, uh, when they say, as soon take, as your possible, meds, I, take your meds. I don't want to take medication. I know, um, but you, maximum the first one week, like uh, painkillers. But other than that, fuck it. Yeah. Uh, but my my body do, will heal up. I know I told you before, but 
when you do take your painkillers, and I say every four hours, every three and a half. At maximum. Yeah. The thing is, I will, uh, I will time it when I go to sleep. So if I can get three, four hours uh, painless sleep, I can recover. Exactly. Much easier. Because I waited during four the day, hours. During, during the day, I can, I can simply control the pain <coughs> with my attention, mm -hmm. with my will that, okay, right now I am in pain. Let, uh, let's simply do something else and just uh, detour my attention to something else to do. Mm -hmm. And that would be helpful to take uh, care of the pain, to control it. And I learned I from the first time that I had surgery, I took my pain pills every four hours. And it took an hour for the pain pills to work. Oh, uh, yeah, I always forget that one. Because even when they say they're I good for four hours, streaming. it's really only three hours they're good for. I don't know how I would manage streaming. It would be painful at first, you know. We understand that you need time to recover and it's like post on your discord like hey day whatever i'm doing fine not much pain that's all streaming okay. it's like make sure you have your phone next to you on a timer but i know for a while you're not going to be interested in streaming is cynthia mm. going to surgery in march i'm not. yeah yeah that's correct i'm at yeah uh, I I'm just being a, the little big brother. Excavatum uh, surgery, if you know what it is. I'm just being little big brother. Li little big brother. <laughs> little big brother. <laughs> I want. Uh, I want to share it with the uh, copy. Amat, check your Discord. <laughs> I don't know what that is, Cynthia. Says Amat. That, that's uh, I'm sending him the Wikipedia page. So pectus excavatum is a change of the pectus, not not uh, most likely for the cartilage and not for the bones, <coughs> when it has a uh, indentation uh, inside. And I have a. a what the doctor said medium i don't think that the, my mine is medium i think mine is a bit severe because it's giving me a, a hard time to to do all the training or long trainings because i can i can feel my my heartbeat in my whole on in my whole body and also my heart actually is uh, what is the word twisted out from its original place That's fucking scary for me. Yeah. And I'm really uh, glad and happy that uh, finally somehow this will be sorted out. Amat, did you got uh, the Wikipedia? You would see the uh, on the Wikipedia page. Uh, let me see some pictures. I hope you'll be much oh, okay. better after the surgery, Cynthia. We all do, Amat. We all do. I checked, he said. I hope you will be much... That's the plan. Exactly, Amat. That, that is the plan. It, uh, after the surgery, I expect that for the first time in my life, I will be able to take a whole deep breath, which... It is not possible for me at, at this very moment, very moment, because uh, I'm losing uh, volume from my chest cavity. And I don't I'm have not, that volume in me. This is why I'm being little big brother, because I do care, and Cynthia already knows that. Just to make it clear, Amat, this is a surgery that's supposed to be done when you're a kid. But nobody did it for me. Because they said it's only uh, aesthetic. It's not. And whenever a doctor said it's aesthetic, uh, I just... Uh, I just oppose them immediately. 
and tell them that is bullshit. You never had this condition I had, and it's not just aesthetic. Even the psychological side is is uh, incredibly uh, negative, but it is truly uh, a limitation for your body. You can't do sports in the same way as any anybody else. F for me, where uh, where this was really significant, when I did the medical checks for my airline, and for me it is not physically not possible to blow that much air as any other human beings could do with the same uh, age, height and uh, weight group. Like age, height and weight group, like how big uh, your body is. It, it was impossible for me. On those uh, breath tests I was always cheating. Always. It was... I tried it in the way that it was supposed to do and physically no there there is not enough air in my chest cavity in my lungs to produce that amount of air that normal people could do and doctors again just say oh that's just aesthetic it's like are you fucking crazy don't you see that there is a dentation a volume is missing have you been learning any physics before? Holy shit! Like the ignorance for the fact is like incredible. Mm -hmm. So this this is time. And shame on those doctors who uh, said that it's only aesthetic and shame on those who are not helping uh, children with this condition. Yeah, It, it is most likely that uh, boys have it and not that many girls but it is almost 50-50, a little bit more boys. Ahmad, I always tell my foreign friends, if you ha can't find good doctors or very expensive health care, just go to Turkey. They have good health care system over there. It is cheap as well as many EU citizens can go to Turkey for surgeries all the time. Possibility for me, if they are fine that I am a transsexual and I am not going to be killed because of uh, Islam, I would be down to it. As long as there is a um, way of communication, I'm happy with it. I would go anywhere in the world, as long as I am welcomed. And I know here, you would be welcome and they'll go, you want to use your own blood? We have procedures for that. We will not fight you against it. And Hallelujah. <laughs> and I would make sure that you would have the best doctor in that field for that surgery. Do you know how I decide who is good and who is bad when it comes to doctors? How? How many procedures have they assisted and how many procedures they did? Mm -hmm. I don't. Right now, in this <coughs> current age, I don't care about uh, certificates and qualifications. I only care about uh, expertise. Mm -hmm. Do you have expertise on the field that you are practicing? Do you have knowledge, like real? like practical knowledge because if you do you are the person that I need you are the best for the job it doesn't care if you have only a, a, a high school degree <coughs> you are doing what you are doing on the highest level no one else can you are the best uh, person for that uh, type of job whatever it is mm -hmm. and I also believe that there is no such thing as uh, determined intelligence uh, your brain is such a miracle that anybody could learn almost anything it just really takes time and effort to uh, to improve yourself mm -hmm. and the best way actually Daniel uh, one of the best ways to keep your mind sharp and protected against even dementia and Alzheimer learning languages Yes. How interesting it is. Yes, yes. Because when you're learning languages, uh, different uh, pathways of your brain will be activated because something that is said and written in English might be not present in German, but something that is present, written and said in German is not present in English. And because of these uh, dissimilarities, these differences, 
your brain will activate different uh, memory parts and, and feelings or whatever it is in your brain. And these activity, when you actively use the language and you actively coming up with the sayings or something that, like to the situation, will prevent your uh, brain to break down and, and give in to dementia or Alzheimer's. So interesting. This simple task, like learning a language, uh, learning new craft, something that will challenge you. It could be you practice for public speaking, you are practice to write a book, uh, you are, when you are learning something new. Not always uh, sports, because that's muscle memory most of the time, and it's good for your coordination and helping your uh, the motoric part of your brain but when it's come to intelligence it's like how much work are you putting in to prevent any kind of damage mm -hmm. like down of your life in 60 70 80 90 years old how interesting is that very and how is it solution yeah Amat, how are you anyways? I don't know if you can hear me. How are you doing today? I'm, I'm soon going to sleep. No, soon you're doing your training like me. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, I don't even care about finishing the current mission. I can do that tomorrow. Oh, no, no, no. I, I'm going away. I'm just waiting for Amat if, if he yeah. has anything it's, to uh, say. It's already too late to finish. Too late to finish. Yeah. It's, How much time um, do you need for that? It's almost 7 o'clock here, and I need at least 45 minutes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But I didn't I, know that. I don't mind. This needed to happen. I, I was just... Uh, uh, with a guerrilla attack was coming into your Discord. <laughs> with a what? We love you today. I'm a thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What did you say? Uh, he said, we love you, Cynthia. No, no, what you said about coming into my stream. I, I was uh, guerrilla attacking in, in, into your uh, Discord server. And I was scaring you. Yeah. And the, Watch me out of you. the reason why I went outside is because we didn't know the guy bu buying the um, snowblower. So if you look at the stream, I have my EDC on. I'm, I'm watching the stream. Yes, 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 yes. We just have a little bit of delay. Yep, I can see it on my phone now. Oh, okay, okay. Just to be on the that's safe side. One. Oh, no, 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 not really. No. That's the um, the main one. I like, I like the blade uh, contour. Because it's easy to sharpen. And there is the second one. Ah, uh, I don't like when they have a saw uh, on the, the on the, the blade. serrated edge. Yeah, the serrated. Oh, I don't like it. And then because because the that 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 is much more dangerous for me. Uh, I I would make uh, a mistake with that uh, serration, hundred percent. Oh, that's the best. Yeah, that that's the best blade. That's that's small one. Yeah, but I have that's even bigger blades. Now. But I won't keep you. I'll show you next time. No, my my EDC is just uh, a folding knife, a really easy browning, uh, quite uh, pointy, mm -hmm. but it's it's fine. It's fine. I I like it when it when it's pointy. Yeah. Um, it it gives me the tool what I need. Amat, how was your day? Because you didn't answer Cynthia. And I'm very upset with you, Amat, for not answering a lady. We, um, he was outside in the kitchen preparing his tea with dark <laughs> chocolate. chocolate. <laughs> it, it was not possible for him to hear me. Don't, don't, don't blame him. It's fine. <laughs> it's okay. I got to tease Amat. Even if he... Sorry, sorry I, was I was typing, typing my him. boss. Okay, you have legitimate you, you see, excuse. You see, 
he was he was occupied and he was occupied with a very important uh, thing my day had been very well good glad to hear that i was That's dealing okay. with a lot of stupid people study, study and work. work ahmed you are the most productive person <laughs> that i know besides me <laughs> because then i would be the second one if you would put in some study for German each and every day like you. I have been. That's my opinion. And today I went for a walk. Lovely. Cynthia, I you have been doing grass. German. I Perfect. Even, I even finished that book you gave me. Ah, yeah, the book. I started investment, by the way. Investment into what? The stock market. Stop it right now because you will lose everything. Yeah. Uh, if you may, I was looking into it. I, I'm at in stocks. Okay. Stop it right now. Uh, it is the worst place that you can put your money because you are such a small fish. Uh, you will be the always. You will be the only one who will lose money. You don't have. You are not a billionaire uh, to make money on the stock market. I was also looking into it. And I uh, know a person who doing this for 10 years uh, with quite high amount tiny. of money, also a small fish, and in a, on a 10 year scale, he was just losing money. He was never winning money. Never ever. So es ist Zeit don't für das invest training. into stocks. Invest only into people and and. Uh, startups or maybe not even startups but a good cause i started making money okay if you're right now positive i would stop because in the long run es this is just like gambling because in gambling the difference between uh, two person is when they lose all their money in gambling you never win just like in stock market the stock market is always against you 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 are not protected by any anything and uh cynthia yes. fraulein cynthia as it's that for the training repeat as it's that for the das training sorry that's a little bit southern in there uh, send it send it to me let me let me see how it's uh written I'll and, post and, it uh, here oh, on uh, on uh, Twitch chat. It's fine on Twitch yeah. chat. Come on, fingers work right. It's highly possible that I just don't know the word. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, es ist Zeit für das uh, Training. Es ist Zeit für das Training. It is time for your training. That yes. That is the meaning. Yes. I made a lot of money with crypto once, and after Elon Musk's tweet, I almost lost all my money. Yeah. Amat. Amat. So. You can, if you want to, uh, want to use your money in a good way you have your own uh, house your own land gold food a weaponry car fuel Fo uh, did i said food yes i said food and in that case you can have a whole family around you you are safe so um uh here amat good night Herr Amat and Fraulein Cynthia. Good to knock Fraulein Cynthia Hartwickson. Enjoy your training, my friend. Danke, danke schön. Herr Daniel Gold. And we will be raiding the Dapa Foxtrot. All right. It's been a while since I raided him. People lining up, or are they just. No, it's definitely a free. Good to knock, Leute. Good to knock, Leute. See you all tomorrow. Yeah, I, I, I'm going as well.